Hi, I'm Peter Horton with Impinge, and today I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on how you can easily read RFID tags using our multi-reader software product with our Speedway readers. Now in the case of my setup here today, I've got the Speedway R420, which is the four-port version of the Speedway Revolution. I've also got an Impinge mini guardrail antenna, which is a near-field RFID antenna. And then I've also got three Monza-based UHF Gen 2 RFID tags, which we'll use for the testing. Now, there's a couple of things you're going to need to do before you get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is visit the Impinge.com website and download the latest version of the multi-reader software. This can be found in the product download section of our corporate website. The second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you know the DNS host name for the reader so that you can connect to it using the multi-reader software. The DNS host name for all Speedway Revolution readers is going to be Speedway R dash and then the last three octets of the reader's MAC address. In the case of this reader, we'd be looking at Speedway R dash 10 dash 36 dash 01. And then lastly, you're going to want to make sure that the reader has a secure power connection and that you're connected directly to your PC or to your network via the Ethernet port. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, now that I've got my desktop open, let's go ahead and open that multi-reader software which I previously saved to it. We are now in the multi-reader program. And again, we're just going to do some simple tag testing using the default settings of the reader in the multi-reader software. So in order to get started, we're going to go over here and we're going to click Configure Settings. We want to control the reader, yes. Now we want to connect to the reader, so we're going to enter in that name of the reader, that DNS host name. You can also connect to it by connecting uh, to the IP address of the reader. But in the case of this demonstration, we're going to use that DNS host name. Speedway R-10-36-01. We want to make sure that the model is correct. And here we've got the Speedway R420. As you can see, you can also use the multi-reader software program with other Impinge Reader products. And then you want to make sure that the operating uh, region is set correctly. In the case of this demonstration, we're using an FCC reader. I'm going to click Apply. And now we are connected directly to the reader so we can begin testing the tags. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click Start Inventory Run. And as you can see here on the screen now, we're reading these tags. Now you might be asking, why is only one line of data showing if we're reading three tags? That's because the EPC value for these tags are all the same. Let's go ahead and change that value to make sure that we're reading all three of these tags. In order to do that, we're going to stop the inventory run. And then we're going to right click on the tag that was read, and we're going to select Change EPC. For new EPC, we're going to change that last 0 to 1. And because we've got three tags here, we're going to actually write to three tags. And then we're going to go ahead and write those. Now let's clear that inventory and start again. And as you can see here, we are now reading all three tags because we've changed the EPC value for them. Thanks for watching this quick video tutorial on setting up and easily reading tags using the multi-reader software program. For more information on Impinge products and Impinge Speedway tech tips, please visit our website at www.impinge.com support. Thank you.